Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Time to talk about vaccines. And of course, the ones we want to talk about are the messenger RNA vaccines, which come from Moderna and uh, Pfizer, too. And this is just a, such an exciting time to see, you know, what these companies have accomplished so quickly with the help of, you know, expedited, um, you know, breakthrough assistance from the FDA to see these vaccines tested and rolled out so quickly. Uh, today is December 16th. Tomorrow, December 17th, the FDA makes their ruling on extended use authorization, EUA, for Moderna's vaccine. Um, I'm going to show you some slides. This is the uh, quarterly update from Moderna um, with a nice graphic here showing, uh, you know, DNA is useless without RNA because RNA is uh, the instructions that get things done and create proteins. And we'll, we'll take a look at that. Um, if you go to the CDC website, you can get a quick explanation. If you just Google, you know, how does how does uh, messenger RNA work, mRNA work, um, you'll probably get CDC as one of the top results. It's a new approach to vaccines that we all need to understand. Uh, it's a revolutionary approach, obviously. Um, you know, um, old style vaccines, you know, you, you injected um, the virus, a Porsche, a portion of the virus into yourself and, uh, and let your body trigger the immune response. Um, uh, instead, a messenger RNA vaccine um, teaches your cells how to make the protein or even just a piece of it that can trigger the immune response. That immune response, which produces antibodies, is what protects us from getting infected. Uh, and then, you know, and then your body does its, does its business. And, uh, and it's just, you know, it's an amazing time to be experiencing this. Obviously, anybody who's uh, been impacted negatively by COVID uh, whether they work in healthcare or have lost a loved one, um, you know it's it's a tragedy, uh, but humanity uh, tends to to rally, uh, and especially science when there's a crisis like this. Um, mRNA vaccines give instructions for our cells to make a harmless piece of what is called the spike protein. The spike protein is found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. So the CDC you can get a lot of good information there. I really like uh, how Pfizer uh, Pfizer also described uh, theirs uh, in partnership with uh, the German firm BioNTech. Um, and, you know, same thing. Um, you know, RNA the instructions go into your body and teach the cells have the instructions to make that SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. Um, and then the rest is history. If, you, if your body you know, has a positive response and, and that's the amazing thing that we've seen is that these, the, the, the phase three testing for both of these have, you know, a high 90% uh, efficacy um, and little safety issues. So here's the price chart of Moderna. Um, we were buyers below 70 and sat with it for several months, uh, and then enjoyed the run to 100, um, you know, on the positive efficacy for Moderna. And then we sold, we took 40% gains. Um, and just cause I didn't like the reaction. It was like, wow, they're selling the stock on this. This is crazy. And even a week later, they were still just like the stock could barely hold a hundred. Um, and then into Thanksgiving, it just exploded. Um, you know, as, uh, you know, the FDA was putting their stamp of approval, uh, the company was announcing they're going to be able to produce only 20 million doses into December, but they're going to be able to produce 100 to 125 million doses in Q1. Uh, and then you're just, and then you are starting to hear from, from the whole world, Canada, Switzerland, Singapore, everybody ordering, uh, Moderna's vaccine, uh, and that sent the stock flying. Uh, we are buyers here today, um, under 140, and this is uh, this move down is sort of a sell the news event. Uh, uh, last night, Jeffrey's analyst Michael Yee came out and you know said, on a, basically make an evaluation call that like so much goodness is priced in, it's almost priced to perfection. But he actually had to raise his price target from 90 to 150 as he downgrades, <laughs> and. Uh, 
uh, uh, Morgan Stanley basically did the same thing, raised their price target from 100 to 150, downgrade to equal weight, and that's why the stock is down under 140. Um, hopefully, you know, if you're a Moderna investor, as I am, we get good news tomorrow, and the FDA gives EUA emergency use authorization to the Moderna vaccine. Uh, what else do I want to show you here? So yeah, let's let's look at uh, let's look at some of the science here. Um, so I want to show you slide 18. Um, you know, just go to the Moderna Investors Relations, and you can see, um, you know, all these presentations. So if both Pfizer and Moderna have RNA-based vaccines, um, you know, which are not putting live virus into your body, but uh, giving instructions for your body to create the spike protein so that your immune system can respond. How are they different? Um, and the big difference is one of them is re refrigeration and storage. The Pfizer vaccine, um, you know, when we first came out, it needed like to be at a, I don't know, minus a hundred degrees Fahrenheit, um, you know, super cold. <laughs> and the Moderna vaccine does not. Um, you can see here storage con conditions, uh, minus 20 Celsius to minus four or minus four Fahrenheit for six months. It's good for six months at, at that temperature it can be in a fridge up to seven days, uh, can be a room temperature. So the something now I, and I can't explain this because I haven't looked into it that much. Why, what's different about the Moderna vaccine that it's, it's more robust that, uh, you know, uh, it holds up better and doesn't need deep freeze refrigeration. Um, here is, so I showed you the quarterly report um, from October. And here was a presentation, I believe, from the summer, um, which is uh, only has 18 slides, but it's also a good one to look at. Let me just take a look here when this was. So this is, um, and this is the full designation for this vaccine, the mRNA-1273. Um, so this was from August. And uh, so you can get a lot of good information about uh, the building of this, this vaccine and uh, creating the spike protein with mRNA instructions. Uh, plenty of stuff to learn here about the science and about, you know, these amazing companies in the vaccine. So I, you know, so I wrote a report to my people this morning, you know, where we're, uh, we're buyers here between, uh, you know, basically around 140. I don't think the stock goes below 130, but if it does, I think that'd be a gift. I think you want to, you know, you can uh, be a buyer now under 140. And if, if it's sell the news again tomorrow, then, you know, on, on the FDA EUA, then I'd be a buyer, you know, uh, 125, if that's what happens. Um, so this morning I went over for, for my folks, you know, what the downgrades are about, you know, basically talked about Jeffries and Morgan Stanley, uh, moving to the sidelines on valuation because they think a lot's priced in and, you know, you can't blame them. The, the, the company got to a 60 billion valuation market cap really quick, uh, with no sales, you know, they're going to do 400 million in sales uh, you know, in this quarter, um, next year, the estimates are all over the place. And that's why I sold too, because you had even, even one of the big bulls on the street, Eddie Tentoff at, um, uh, at Piper Sandler, he was the first guy to, you know, he, he was always super bullish. He had a $136 price target. Then he went to 166. Um, uh, his sales estimate for next year is still under 2 billion. And, there, and there's other banks out there. Goldman went to 13 billion on next year's sales. So they're having trouble gauging. And, you know, and maybe it's a, maybe it's we need to know what the FDA is going to rule before we can say, yes, um, Moderna is going to make over 500 million doses and sell them at 20 bucks a piece and then do 12, 13 billion dollars in sales. Uh, there are some estimates as high as 20 billion in sales for next year. You know, so it all, all depends on how many doses they make, how many get ordered. Uh, but that's the simple math there. If, you know, if, if, uh, if Goldman Sachs is saying, you know, like 13.3 billion, that's, that's roughly 633 million doses at 21 bucks a pop. Um, so, 
Uh, this was this was yesterday. This was sort of sell the news. Yesterday, the FDA on on uh, uh, December fifteenth said Moderna vaccine is highly effective and safe. So you can see this the sell the news. And so what I'm what I was talking about this morning with uh, Jeffries and Morgan Stanley is is you know is this a downgrade or a capitulation because they they lower the rating on the stock to neutral or equal weight, um, but have to raise the price target like fifty percent. You know, from 100 to 150 to catch up with uh, with reality. So it's it's kind of a mixed downgrade as they capitulate to the momentum. Um, you know, and there were other calls similar to this uh, in the past few weeks. Uh, let's get to some. Here's a more level-headed call. Uh, uh, Joff Meacham at uh, at Bofa raised his target to 150. This is early December. Um, you know, and so he's looking at uh, he attributes seventy eight dollars per share on the COVID vaccine up from thirty eight prior. So he had more than double his his attribution of what the COVID vaccine would do for Moderna. Now, the other element here that we haven't talked about is how will uh, Moderna's technology platform, its mRNA messenger RNA technology platform, uh, be used elsewhere? You know, you're talking about vaccines, MNR, mRNA vaccines for everything, even cancer. Can you imagine curing cancer with, uh, you know, with RNA instructions? Uh, it, it, th- that's why it's 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 really hard to value the company right now um, when you're seeing this kind of fast success uh, with their vaccine. So let's see. Uh, so even the guy from Morgan Stanley thinks. You know, the, the market is expecting 10 to 15 billion of sales for uh, for Moderna. OK, so if we do, a, you know, if we just do a price to sales valuation, hey, it's trading, um, you know, six times sales, maybe a little less. Let's just call it six times sales. If, if 10 billion is a workable number next year sales, what they're worried about is. How sustainable is that? You know, because even if they do 10 billion in 21, uh, in 21 and 22, um, and then they get the booster sales, right? Because people are going to need a booster shot of this. Um, you know, so you can you can see people getting shots, you know, a few times a year. Um, they see that as only two to three billion of sustainable sales. So, you know, it's really about will the next applications of uh, their RNA technology platform, when will they take over? Um, you know, so, so it's re- obviously the analysts are having a hard time valuing the company. Uh, you got the guy at Argus, uh, granted a third tier investment bank, uh, you know, uh, grabbing, grabbing the high bar with the $200 price target. Um, but, you know, he highlighted, hey, it's, it's also the refrigeration issue versus the Pfizer MRA. Mm-hmm vaccine. So a lot to think about here and on how to value Moderna um, and, you know, what it means going forward. I think the stock will remain volatile. If you get a chance to buy it at 120, do so. Um, And if it goes to one, I would be surprised, you know, if they crack 120 on this, but we'll have, you know, a lot's riding on what the FDA says tomorrow. All right. Uh, Enjoy learning about mRNA technology. And, uh, you know, nothing like investing to, uh, to help you learn a little more. Oh, one last, one last theme I forgot to mention is that um, I, I talk a lot about Kathy Wood at ARK Invest. And uh, she has a phrase when she talks about disruptive innovation. She says, winner take most. You know, when she, so when she talks about a square or, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, CRISPR, or somebody in, or Tesla in autonomous driving, uh, Kathy's phrase is not winner take all, but winner take most. And that's what tends to happen with disruptive innovation. Um, so, so I, uh, I, I borrow that phrase from her because I think it, I think it speaks to what happens with a revolutionary technology like Moderna's. All right, we'll talk to you next week.